why in the world would you buy a visor that wasn't 100% clear? That's what we get asked all the time by usually referees. When we put these cool pictures out on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, we get oftentimes hammered by like, why do you guys sell these things? Kids can't even wear them. This video is gonna go over who would buy colored, tinted, and mirrored visors, who can only wear clear, and why in the world would people still buy these things if you can't actually wear them? I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna give some shout outs to people who've submitted some amazing photos and videos. Let's dive into Adventure Athlete, our good friend Preston at Battle Customs, Elias, Jordan, Lane Roger, Michael G, our boy Pac Money Benny, Stephen Lane, and Thomas B. Here you go. I mean, that's reason enough right there. You gotta understand half of these visors that we sell, yeah, we understand that they're not allowed during a lot of youth and high school and college games. We try to make it super, super, super clear in the listings, but some people still often want to say, oh, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to wear them. Check with your coach, check with whomever you have to before you buy these things because more and more of the refs in the states with the youth leagues, they're cracking down and they want clear, clear. And in this video, I'm gonna argue that a little bit because it's a little silly and there's probably a lot of different reasons why, but here is the actual rule. A legal eye shield attached to the helmet must be clear and without the presence of any tint. That means clear, right? I mean, clear. Well, what about these? Like, are you telling me you can't see my eyes? You can see people's eyes, right? And these are prism. This is clear sunset. Here's a very, very lightly tinted Oakley visor. And seems like a lot of the states are okay with these. Even on the helmet, you can very, very clearly see the player's eyes. Isn't it interesting that even in the bright daylight, you're not allowed to wear the slightest bit of tint. And they say it's because they wanna see the player's eyes in case of uh, concussion or any sort of um, head injuries. I think some of that's BS, to be honest with you. I think a lot of it is, they just don't want these kids to look cool. And I know, I know, I told you it was gonna upset some people, but I really believe that because when you see the comments that we get on our social media and you click on the players' profiles who are bashing them, 100% of them are referees. And it's like, I don't know if they're just being stubborn, I don't know if they're just hanging on to the past or whatever it might be, and this video isn't meant to just go and you know, uh, upset referees because they're great at their jobs and they are concerned about player safety. However, it seems like, I don't know, it's getting maybe a little out of hand. We have people come in the studio a lot to do YouTube experiences and a lot of them say like, nah, we can get away with wearing the clear mirrored. But Georgia, for example, multiple people have come in and they're like, no, no, no. If it's not clear, 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 then they're gonna get taken out. Keep in mind, you got practice, warm-ups, all that stuff. You should be able to wear what you want during that time. So that's a great reason why you'd wanna buy some shock or some Oakley colored or mirrored visors. Um, we do a lot of these style visors for colleges in particular during recruiting where they can't really show the player's face. And we do visors like this for programs all over the world. There are players throughout the world Canada, Germany, Mexico, Japan, France, and probably every other country you can dream of, most of them can wear what they want. So kind of like a, a word to the wise, to the people that get upset, like that we and other companies sell these visors, like it's not all about you, bro. Like there are millions of kids that play football that can wear these, so we're not gonna stop selling them. And then of course, let's not forget our little guys over here. Mini visors are amazing, right? And that would be weird to buy a clear one because it's like, well, if you're gonna upgrade a mini visor, then do something like really cool with it. We love our shock visors. We've been selling them for years and we still get asked a lot about this. So to clarify, 
If you are in high school in particular in the USA, you have to wear what the rules say must be clear and without the presence of any tint. That's it. I hope this helps a lot of the times with the Oakley Prism technology, which I would argue clearly makes a difference. The ball stands out. I, I think these are allowed. I, I mean, it's totally clear, right? But then you have to now getting into like, well, define clear. I don't know. When in doubt, ask your coach. And if you have other questions about pieces of equipment, let us know. We try our best to answer all of the comments. And if you think this will help somebody, share the video. And I'm curious to hear from you guys out there. Let us know in the comments, do you wear visors? If you do, are they clear? Are they mirrored? Are they completely black? Are they colored? I mean, we really do want to know. And when you leave comments, maybe let us know where you live, what state, so we can get a, you know, get an understanding of which states are a little bit more free and loose. And again, thank you so much for sticking around. Till next time, cheers.